to get to Formula One, it's a completely performance-based situation. As long as the results are there and I'm driving well, I think the opportunity will eventually come. Man, they went and then they didn't go. I've just been smoked by doing. Well, I'm not a f***ing idiot. Yeah, but people are going, I'm f***ing going. Someone braked, Bestie braked, I braked, yeah. and then doing just hit me. It is first time podium for Sergeant. Our pace was really good throughout the whole race. We were extremely quick at the start. Great stuff for Logan Sergeant. The man from Florida. The chance is alive to get to Formula One. As long as I leave it all out there, I can live with it and I'll be happy with myself, then that's all I can ask for. It would be incredible to have an American and someone to really root for. Logan's the guy. Feeling pretty confident going to the races. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. But you get the feeling for everyone in the field apart from John Rich, it's now time to deliver. Oh, Yuri Vips has hit the wall! That's P2. What a brilliant race. Well done. You little legend. You can pay back for him, little baby. What a time there for Logan Sargent! Yeah, that's box office stuff. Oh man, so hard to get a pole in the championship. Feel the need for speed. Oh, that was so hard. I expect myself to be at the front and battling for wins. You turned it on me, man. You had your money there, well done. Can Sergeant continue this winning run in feature races? My clutch is It definitely hurt. What are they doing? I think I broke my thumb. It goes from bad to worse. Sergeant and Dewan scraping down the barrier. The young American driver knows what's at stake. The solid weekend will send him to Formula One. I'm so close now to reaching, you know, what I've worked for my whole life. By the same time, you know, there's also fear in that. I feel like. If there's no fear in your dreams, you're not dreaming big enough. Dare to be great. I'm enjoying it, and it's also a lot to learn, but yeah, I think it's, it's going pretty well. Obviously the goal was to, to get a main seat, and we looked for that, but then when we, we realized it wasn't possible, I think the goal was to get a good reserve seat, and Aston was the one that uh, really gave me the best opportunity and the best project for, for that. It feels like a kind of, you know, a, a relief to be partnered with the F1 team now, and you know, someone is looking after me, so that's uh, that's really good. But uh, the job is not done. Uh, the goal is to be in F1 one day, and yeah, I'm gonna be really, you know, working for that, trying to to show them that uh, I'm able to to be there one day, and yeah, work really hard for that. these days, you know, it pays more than being an F2 driver for, for a reserve driver in F1. It's actually true. He's obviously okay, joining us on the, on, only on about half the track walk because um, he doesn't want to tire himself out ahead of his F1 driver. Yeah. You see, I'm a bit greener in my bottle. You know, water tastes uh, different on this. F1 water. <laughs> uh, what's it like reliving those moments? F2 champion, what a season it was. 
Is that what we're doing? Get the get the arms up. I don't have any arms, show me. He usually gets the guns out for the sun. Gets his little tan on as soon as cameras come around. I need, he gets exactly, I need to put them yeah, down. Yeah, get them down because he doesn't want the gun show to get leaked. <laughs> when you go on count back of this year, unfortunately, you do cry a little bit, <laughs> and especially you know, it can keep you up at night thinking of of what could have been. Um, you know, I've made a couple of mistakes. I think it's working. Oh my god, mate. The F2 feature races go. Paul Getaway for our pole sitter once again. How the f does that just happen? Why? This just happens every single time. Why can't I get f race in this championship? There is doing our winner yesterday has had an issue and has dropped a plum last. It's been difficult in times. When I stuff up, it's you know that's on me. If we have you know a slow pit stop, then we work on that with the team to understand why. <laughs> to still be in a position to fight for P3 is quite surprised to be honest. He is a race winner in FIA Formula 2. Fantastic performance from him, the reigning FIA F3 vice champion. I never used to be as nervous, but these days I seem to be a little bit more nervous watching. <laughs> but it's, it's part of the game. Now I'm just a spectator, which I'm happy to be. <laughs> so as a father, you're just hoping for the best for the, for the young lad. He eats, sleeps and breathes it, and I guess that's what you need to do to get to the top. I think even from the beginning, car was good, just I was missing the result. The Red Bull Academy will be celebrating a Yumo Awasa absolutely dominates. Awasa wins for the first time in FIA Formula 2 and what a way to take victory. He has wiped the floor with the field. Yes, finally! Ah. Yes, finally! We made it! I was struggling a lot this this year because uh, because of my performance especially so but always I'm having good speed so this is very positive so but already I'm happy to stay in this position Yeah for sure it was amazing for Ricard <laughs> that was uh, I think the best moment of the year, uh, one of the best moments at least, uh, because I didn't win there, but I enjoyed uh, the race weekend with all the French fans, which was the most important thing. I did two podiums, one I got penalized, but you know, I, di I did enjoy the podium celebration, which was the most important for me, uh, in front of the main grandstand, in the main straight. And as soon as I was climbing out of the car, they were all screaming, cheering with the French flag. So it was the first time for me like that. It felt amazing and I'm uh, really sad that, you know, there are no more French GP for next year because it's important to have a French GP. You see the atmosphere was amazing for Formula to race, uh, which normally there are no more, not a lot of people in the grandstands, but uh, they're all saying uh, to see the French drivers, so amazing. You're not doing slow drive my hair. Done. That's it. Tomorrow check out. I'm glad you got that hair routine on, on film actually. That's great. Now, now people can stop going. This is how long you spend on your hair, William. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank Thank you. Thank you. Obviously, unfortunate that it's you know, you know. Also, the the, the four to one sessions I've had have been late in the year, after every sort of decision's been made. But at the same time, uh, you know, if I ever get the opportunity to go into Formula One, um, the later that happens, as much as it's you know hard to take as a driver, the later that happens, the more ready the more ready I am. So whether that's in twelve months, you know, that could have been now, obviously, that you know for next season. But if that's in another twelve months' time with whatever I'll be doing next year, I'll be more ready for that step and I want to be as ready for it as possible. Liam Lawson wins for the fourth time in Formula 2 this season. What a dominant drive for the New Zealander.
Well done, darling. Great job, mate. You want to try? Well done. Luck. I was waiting for something to be implored how big it was great. <laughs> I was low-key waiting for the first place. I'm going to say some more. Why do you always have to do anything? Why do you always do anything? That was a lovely day. Last little Sunday drive. Sunday cruise. All he's got to do is get to the end of this race without any penalty points, without any difficulties, and that will usher his way through into a Williams Formula 1 seat by merit of having a super licence. I've never been in this position on the F2 grid. I've been uh, sat in the car plenty of times, but no, it's nice to be back. Obviously, it was a, a good weekend for me here last year, getting the, the championship that brings back a lot of good memories. I hope that he, that he gets it done and, and joins me on the grid next year. It'll be really cool to see, obviously, we were teammates in F3, so it uh, have to be nice to have Logan on the grid. And his job yesterday has probably made his life a little bit easier today, but, of course, you, you never know what's going to happen in F3. Logan Sargent's under pressure for Liam Lawson going past. He will have to get out of it. He can't afford to take any risks, but he's off the road. Liam, push me off. That is heartbreak for Jack Doohan. Oh, mate. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Logan Sargent will be breathing easier again now because he is heading to Formula One. Oh, and he's pulling off Taylor Pusher. Oh, he's stopping. Oh, and there goes Sargent. Our champion trying to force his way by, trying to roar around the outside to take victory. Awasa hangs him out further to the corner, and there's still nothing between them. He's all the way off the road. A Yuma Awasa wins, and for MP Motorsport, it's the team championship, thanks to Felipe Drogovic. Classic, vintage, wonderful, Formula 2. And this is our potential. Thank you all for your hard work this year. I know we didn't always capitalize, but as we just showed now, we're damn quick. Honestly, I, I just worked my butt off out there. I gave it absolutely everything. Um, Dream come true. I obviously got my super license. Man, this Carlin team has done everything for me from the beginning, since since day one. It's the team I started with. Matt's the first engineer I've ever had, and he was with me this year. So it feels super fitting to end my junior career with them. To Williams as well, so much love. You know, they completely revived my career when it was looking at its lowest. No one sees the, the hard work, the the difficulties, the blood, the sweat, the tears, the setbacks, the mental grind, the pick yourself back up when it's not going well, trying to ride the wave when it is, trying to stay consistently at the front. It just feels good to, to be here, to have done the job, close the chapter and move on. First of all, congratulations to Logan. <laughs> He's done a great job. So I think all the team here at Carlin uh, and uh, Williams, I mean, we're just delighted for him and congratulations to him because today there was a lot of pressure on him. And he's performed first year in the category and you know, he's shown what he's capable of and, and his natural pace. So I know credit to Carlin because they've given their two drivers uh, excellent cars all year. They've been very competitive. And also credit to, to Jos, Sven, all at, all at Williams and the Williams Academy because uh, uh, they spotted Logan. Uh, we, you know, put the uh, support behind him uh, and now you know he's, he's coming to Formula One. Uh, so you know with regard to a journey and a story, you know, we all feel pretty pretty proud to be part of it and lucky to be part of it. Yeah. Oh, it's so nice. Very sweet. You know, it's a Taylor two size, really. Yeah, we're absolutely over the moon um, for Logan, of course. Liam drove brilliantly all weekend, and you know, another lap or two, he would have won that race as well. So um, the speed is great, and the engineers have done an amazing job. But yeah, it's a bit of sadness where really we fell short, you know, we, we should have won the team's championship. We had, we had some elements of bad luck, we had a, some mistakes on our part. Um, so it's, it's, it's um, could have, would have, should have, you know. It's, at the end of the day, our job is to make Formula One drivers. And as far as I'm concerned, we 
absolutely laid one, and Liam is only, it's only circumstance that he's not a flight driver, he's good enough to be one. So in my mind, we've achieved our mission. It is a bittersweet is a good way to put it, because I think it also, it's frustrating because we have a weekend like this, which is great, but I feel like we've been at this level all year. Faye would have been, uh, would have been hard to, to, to fight with. He was, you know, well clear this year, did a great job. But uh, P2 in the championship was definitely achievable. And I came into the year trying to win the thing. So, so it's not what we were after, but considering where we were going, where we were coming into this weekend, I think I was seventh. So it's good to, to come away with that. I finished vice, vice champion of Formula 3 in 2020. Felt like a victory. Finished uh, vice champion today of Formula 2, which is a very good result. If we consider what happened to me, uh, scoring less than five points for the last four, last four rounds, it's unbelievable. And unfortunately, uh, yeah, it's part of motorsport. Very, very disappointed with this year, for sure. But uh, still, looking at the positive side, finishing P2 in the, in the standings. I know that I will be the reserve driver for Alfa Romeo in Formula 1. We'll move to Switzerland, which is a good step for me. Alongside that, I don't know what I will do yet. Need to take a decision and uh, we'll see. I can say Afon is still alive. Um, obviously, I did everything that I could do. Uh, I feel like that and yeah, I'm, I'm really working hard to be there one day. I think looking at today, I'm just extremely happy with the opportunity, you know, to be here get the drivers championship get the team championship for the team which they deserve so much and i hope they can keep doing this job uh, from now on so uh, i'm just uh, yeah on top of the road uh, and, and I'm, it's just something so satisfying you know to to walk away like that and feel that uh, i've done everything i could do for them and also for me to make it maybe make me get there one day